She's awesome. Annika Michelle here for AfterBuzz TV with Trent Dilfer. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Welcome. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Of course. And you're a retired NFL player. If you weren't playing football, what do you think you would have done with your life? Oh, that's a great question. I don't know many things but football. So. Okay. <laughs> Is it uh, weird not to play now? It's not weird not playing. It's weird not being around the game. I'm still involved in the game through TV. I think if the game was taken away from me, I don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. It's like losing a child. I, it would, yeah, I think it would be. Yeah. And do you have your eye on any team this year that you think will make into the Super Bowl? Ooh, Super Bowl predictions are tough. I, I do think in the NFC, the Minnesota Vikings are going to be a lot better than people think. I think they're going to make a lot of noise. And a sleeper team in the AFC, I'm not saying Super Bowl, but a sleeper team in the AFC would be the Miami Dolphins. Okay. All yeah. right. And who was your favorite athlete to play with? Who to play with? Yeah. That's a, probably Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis is one of the greatest okay. teammates you could ever have. And uh, obviously had a lot of success the one year I was with him. Very true. And then is there any underdog team or um, athlete you hope that will come up and rise up this year and kind of go for the gold? Mm, I like that question. I haven't thought Thank much you. about that. Um, a player. A player or team that's kind of underdog. Yeah. You know what? I'm, re I'm hoping that Robert Griffin does. Okay. I'm really hoping the RG3 resurrects his career, um, lifts the Browns out of the slums they've been in for a while. Yeah. Um, that's what I'm rooting for. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Can you just look in the camera and say buzz you later? Buzz you later.